Welcome back to Sakima's Ridge Homestead. I'm Brian, and today we're going to take a walk around and see what uh, Winter Storm Harper did here on the homestead. Hello, and welcome to our channel. We're, we're glad, glad you're here. here. Yeah, this is what we woke up to today. Trees are all covered in a little layer of ice. <clears throat> you can probably see how shiny the side of this cherry is here. I hope this is as pretty on the video as is <clears throat> is in person because everything's just got this it's like covered in a shiny layer of glass. Then we get out into the pine trees and they've got some snow on them. Sakima was out there in the pasture playing with his horse ball. Horses don't play with it, but he does. So it started snowing yesterday around oh I don't know, eleven 10:30, 11 o'clock or so. We ran and got uh, four more round bales because the horses are really going through them this year. Brought them home, got them under cover, and it probably got about two inches of snow or so. And then uh, it started to rain, maybe at three or four, and it rained for several hours, which is where we got all that ice on the trees at. Uh, we did plow the driveway yesterday. You can kind of see pile there but it sure doesn't look like it now um, probably oh 10 30 11 o'clock last night it cooled back off and started to snow again and I'm guessing we probably got another three or four inches of snow overnight uh, we went to bed last night the truck was clear and uh, actually just clear and wet so we're going to get the truck started up warmed up and cleared off so we can get the uh, driveway cleared and we'll hit a couple of neighbors driveways like we usually do. Uh, we plowed ours last night and the big long one across the street. Thought we'd better get them while we could while it was uh, warmer and wet. I was afraid if that froze underneath this layer of snow it'd be harder to plow. Uh, looking pretty good on the fence. I don't see any trees down anywhere. Hopefully you can see those treetops shining there with that ice on them. Horses are in the barn right now. We brought them in last night because of this freezing rain. Uh, Paul's got the last of the blankets in the dryer. We'll get them back out here and uh, get them covered and back outside. You can probably see the, see the ice hanging on the hot wire here and on the gate. <coughs> So all in all, I think we fared pretty well from the storm. Uh, they were saying up to 13 inches of snow, which uh, if we wouldn't have got probably the inch of rain last night that we got, we'd definitely have a lot more snow than we do. Like I said, I don't see any trees down anywhere or any branches or any damage. Uh, we still have power and we still got the wood burner going. So things have fared pretty well here. North of here, they got all snow and no rain, so they may have gotten more snow than we did, but they were forecast for less snow. We were like right in the band of the maximum amount of snow, and the uh, freezing rain cutoff line was like right here as well. So we were, I guess, before the storm, but I hope that wind's not making camera noise. If you can see the the snow kind of fluffing around in this wind. Ooh, it was really picked up. I said, I hope that's not hissing on the camera. Because if you're anything like me, I hate watching people's videos and all you hear is that camera wind noise. So we'll, we'll end this one here. Just wanted to check in here after, after the winter storm Harper went through and how we fared on the homestead. Uh, other than having to clear this driveway and shovel the path back to feed the animals back at the barn and get the horses back out. We're, we're business as usual here. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. You guys have a good day and stay warm.